Hello, welcome to day eight. And today I want to talk a little bit about systems thinking and how important it is in the relationship to leading transformation at this moment in time. I think we all have this desire to want to make things right and make things wrong. And in a systems approach, we just see that these decisions that we make are interconnected with each other. And so we look at them in terms of right and wrong as a series of trade-offs that we make. And the question for me is, are these trade-offs that we're making allowing us to get to where it is that we want to go? And instead of making people right about their ideas, instead of making people wrong about their ideas or their contribution or their opinions, let's say, how do we weigh these in a way that has a systematic approach to it that un lets us understand, is this the, the way in which we need to go together? Is this the right decision that we need to make for us as a team, as a group, as an organization? And I think that those are the things that have helped me in uncertainty because we want to make it right and we want to make it wrong and we want to make it good and we want to make it bad. Um, instead of saying, what are the behaviors that we need to put in place? What are the processes and the structures that we need to put in place to help us make decisions to allow us to move to where it is that we want to go together? And that takes the onus also too off one any one individual to need to have all of the answers, which we just don't, especially now, especially when we're in this space of a lot of uncertainty. So we need to be able to rely on these other ways of problem solving, these other ways of capturing information, these other ways of decision making that are more collective based and allow us to move together collectively to the next steps. So how are we doing that? How are we taking those information points in? How are we assessing and understanding as a team, as an organization? Are we having the right conversations that we need to have in order to learn, not to make it right or wrong, but to learn What's the most effective way for us to move forward? And I think that that is a really critical distinction at this point in time, at this juncture of where we're at as a humanity and as your teams and organizations are trying to figure out what those next steps are. Let's make sure that we're A, creating the space that these things can happen within, right? The space going back to what does this environment look like? Is it safe? Do people feel like they belong? Is the energy aligned? And then we can start to say, okay, what are the right structures? What are the right conversations? Who are the people that we need to talk to in order for us to learn and understand what are the right ways to move forward and not making it not right. Let's not call it right. What are the ways that we want to move forward collectively? Yeah. So these are some things that you can start to employ and think about as you're moving through these challenging times together. And please, again, don't hesitate to reach out. We're here. Um, and start to think in interconnected pieces. Start to think in how things interact with each other and what trade-offs you're making in your day-to-day -day, uh, decision-making and behaviors and actions and what are the consequences of those trade-offs that you're making and is it helping the collective move forward. So please um, have a good day and stay safe, everybody, and um, look forward to hearing from you.